happy Saturday. Um, all right, guys, so I'm going to be doing something a little different this um, Kickstarter, and I'm going to be filming my pre-Kickstarter stuff. A lot of people have asked me um, what it takes to run a large Kickstarter, a large project like this, and we do try to post a lot of videos and stuff to show the process, but I thought that I would give you a little one-on-one -on -one time with uh, my own processes and what I do and what I go through um, to build a Kickstarter. So the first thing we do is we get organized. So I spent all day yesterday um, creating my task magnet sheets. Um, I broke all of my tasks that I needed to do. First of all, I wrote all my tasks out into groups, right? So I chose five groups to keep it easy. Media, which is graphics and video. Promotional, which is what I need to do to promote the Kickstarter. Product design, which is the product designs that will be uh, launched in the Kickstarter from the decks to the add-ons. Writing is what needs to be written for the Kickstarter or for promotional materials. And admin is like stuff like updating the website, that kind of crap. Um, so then I have my task for today down here. I break them into very easy uh, to understand things. So today I'm gathering all of the work in progress pictures of the artists. I'm writing um, about Astral, which probably will be uh, looked over by Trish Sullivan, the author and the writer who is a goddess with writing and I suck. <laughs> then I'll be doing games and giveaway graphics for the event and um, throughout the Kickstarter. Then I will be doing a product design of a tarot zipper case, which is one of the add-ons this year. And I'm going to be creating the list of add-ons um, as an administrative duty. And then once I'm done with that, so I know that it's an eight hour day, then I once I'm done with these tasks, they go into the completed task space. And I've decorated this with my little stars because I like stars. And I like to decorate stuff and make it pretty. So when my completed tasks are in there, they will be in the star, in the star box. So that's what I have. So breaking this all down, um, it does a few things, guys. Like, for me, as an artist, it's really, really important for me to have everything really visually in front of my face. Uh, when I have things really visually in front of my face, I'm able to group things better and really see what's going Another on. Another really good thing about breaking it into colors is that as an artist, we are kind of emotional beings, right? We we kind of like fly by the seat of our pants. Like we don't really like have any set rules a lot of the time. So a lot of the time it's difficult for us to set any kind of schedule. However, if we know everything that we need to do and the time period that we need to do it in, then it's easy for us, and also the type of tasks, then it's easy for us to break it all together. And what we, what so what I do is um, when I wake up, I'm like, okay, so I'm feeling a little more creative than technical today, right? So I know that I pull things from media, right? Media is more, um, media and practice, product design are my two creative uh, categories so that I can pull more purple and green colors, and then I have a more creative day. If I'm feeling really focused, I'm like, roar, I can do this, like, depending on, like, normally, it's it's all about, like, the, 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 the planetary alignment, guys, like, uh, everything is connected to the planetary alignment, at least that's what I believe. So, it's very important to uh, know what your strengths are that day, and roll with it. So my strengths today are going to be creative. I feel a lot of creative energy, a lot of page of wands energy. So I'm going to be doing um, some graphics and a, a nice balance of it. And I'm only going to do eight hours of work because it's Saturday. Yeah, only eight hours. Normally I do about 16, but I'm only doing eight because it is Saturday. Um, so before I do anything, guys, what I am really, really working on is trying to not feel so rushed, which is a really good reason to plot everything out. Because if you know everything that you need to do and you know how long it takes for each, like if you break it into man manageable tasks of like two hours each, then you know that it's not going to be this thing that you need to rush, right? I've got 37 days until the Kickstarter. 
so I know that I don't need to be all rushy rushy, right? Because rushing is really bad for your energy, it's bad for your stress levels, and I know from personal experience it can really harm you. So I'm really working on not being rushed at all. So I have uh, time in the morning to devote to um, my spiritual growth, which is very important to me. And a lot of the time it can be left behind when you're a workaholic. And I've really, really seen that affect myself. And it's really, really important to have really beautiful energy um, and calming energy when you're creating a tarot deck because I believe that everything you put into this deck is going to be felt by people who are using it and you don't want this angry deck you know full of rushed energy you know you can feel that like sometimes when you're using tarot cards you're like or you see the artwork and it's rushed and you know the artist probably like really just hated doing that card right it was like oh my god it's 78th card i hate it i hate it you don't get that a lot with our decks because um, every card is a masterpiece because the artists only have to do one of them. So that's what's really great about collaborative decks is literally every card is a masterpiece. Sorry, I'm gushing. Anyway, so one of my routines in the morning is to do um, a tarot reading for myself and I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay, so I did a little um, money magic manifestation grid for myself. Um, I use the Money Magic Manifestation cards from Anthony, which I freaking love. Um, I always start out with uh, her card in the middle as my manifestation for the day. And then I ask, um, using tarot, I ask different questions. Um, this is, so for example, I put, um, I, I got, it is my time to shine divine. So then I pulled the Page of Wands for the question, um, what do I need for my mind to shine divine? And, um, and then this is the, uh, it's hard to see because of the light, sorry. <laughs> and this is the, the Page of Pentacles for what actions I need to take to shine divine. And this is what really stumped me. He said, what do I leave behind to shine divine? I leave strength behind to shine divine? I'm definitely going to have to research that a bit um, over my coffee. So, Okay, so I am going to think about that um, and maybe journal a little bit in my journal and um, grab another cup of coffee, think about that. And then I'm gonna get to work because I've got eight hours of stuff to do and I'm pretty focused and ready and I feel uh, ready to go, ready to rock. Let's do it. Conquer this day like the boss that you are. All right, I'm gonna go now. I hope everyone has a fabulous day and that this has been, if not useful, at least a little entertaining for you. <laughs> Bye.